<laughs> Hello and welcome back from Hearthstone. Uh, as you can see, I made uh, a deck for each class that's uh, reasonably competitive. Some of them I got off the internet, some of them I put together myself. Um, uh, if any of you want to see what uh, what the decks consist of, or, or if you want to see me play them, then uh, comment uh, with the name of the deck. Um, and I'll, I'll play them. All right, now we're gonna just do um, a Rex Ventura Pet Detective, and let's see um, how it works out. Uh, this deck is a mid-range beast synergy death rattle sort of deck, and it has uh, Nazoth for some added uh, oomph. You know, at turn ten, it brings back Fiery Bat, it brings back Huge Toad, it brings back. Uh, Sylvanas, I put Sylvanas in here. Um, so it's actually pretty good. We don't want anything... We don't want any of those. But Jeweled Scarab's fine. He's gonna greet us. He's not gonna greet us. It's fine. Didn't want a greeting. Let's... Point out how it greetings. There's the Ram Wrangler. We don't really need him yet. Okay, we're gonna squelch him because he's just gonna be one of those guys. Away burrito. You can always tell a uh, an over a motor. Just like right off the bat, yeah, he's trying to emote, but I hear nothing. I'm not hearing anything. Um, ooh. Do we want another animal companion? Yeah, we do. Okay. I was thinking maybe the owl would work, but maybe not. That's a bad play right there. That's a real bad play. <laughs> Misha! We can wolf next turn. Oh, we did. Kill command that right off the board. Do we want to do that? If we kill command. Or if we, hmm, I don't, let's just trade with it pretty well, there we go. That's pretty bad against any, oh god, that's pretty bad against his AoE, but. Yeah, okay, you know. I'm not too sad about that, actually. It doesn't matter to me. Boom. Drop it. And we can Invisible. Job's done. And that'll be pretty good. He's at 19. Because we did some damage to him. So, and I have the board, you know. I didn't lose board. There we go. That's a good target for Kilkenny right there. That's what we were waiting for. Boom. Kill Command. Gone. We can play Fiery Bat, and we can play Toad, and we can punch him in the face. See, these uh, beasts with Death Rattle are pretty good when I play Nazoth, because it just fills up the board with stuff that either does damage or spawns other stuff. More Coil. That's fine. He's taking a bit of damage. He's taunting that. And he drew the monkey. He drew the map to the monkey already. Okay. We can do this. I want to do that. Value. That's some value. <laughs> but do we trade both into this? Or yeah, well, let, we'll find. Let's just see how this goes. Go back on it. No, of course not. Okay. 
job done. Probably not the best thing to do to train Wolf into those. Maybe not. He doesn't have the AOE. Otherwise, he would have used it. <laughs> it's a pretty good pull. <laughs> so he's doing some training. MC Tech got the worst actual. Well, and that's certainly a play. Siphon Soul. That was that was a play. We're gonna trade here, but take the rest of the things because we can hoo hoo on it next turn. We can trigger its death rattle next turn, or we can hound master it. Or he, he can activate it and just smash everything into it. And he can shadow flame it. Yeah. Pretty typical. What we can do next turn is... Animal, compa animal Companion and... We can do that. There you go. Now he doesn't get anything from that. There you go. I don't... We could have Sylvanas, but he doesn't have anything on the board. And putting Sylvanas on a board with nothing on it is pretty bad. What did you... Hello? Okay, well, welcome back everything. You just wasted a twist another. <laughs> that is why Nazoth is really good. I love playing Nazoth when I have stuff like this. He's gonna Reno, but it's not gonna matter much. <laughs> it's not gonna matter much. Doomsayer. Well, certainly not my choice. Hmm. We could do that. And we can do that. That. And that. And we can take everything else in place. Because he has to deal with everything on the board. I'm not going to play anything else. Just yet. Because it, just in case he has... Well, this is a Reno deck, isn't it? So he doesn't have... He could have a Doom. Any big board clears. Even board clears are still like whatever to me because I still get tons of 2 twos and 1 1s that I can trade into him, so. Not too worried about it. <laughs> yep, and that's the GG. There you go. That was a pretty well. That was a pretty good top tech in this off, though. Uh, I'll do another one. This deck is alright. Uh, if you never get an Azoth, though, it's 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 still pretty. I don't know. It's still a pretty good deck, though. It's just a it's a mid range beast, death rattly kind of thing. Um, I would keep Thunder's Mark, but I mean, rogues. Do they have any big minions to play? Not really. Rogues nowadays, they sort of tend towards uh, the Death Rattle theme pretty well. Because they have the Unearthed Raptor and they, they get a ton of pretty good Death Rattle minions as well. So, so we might be seeing that. He's still picking. It could be the sort of nerfed Miracle Rogue because, uh, what was the name of that card? Um, I can't remember the name of that card. They got nerfed 
And now it doesn't do damage to face. Which is a pretty big hit for them. But they got a ton of... Uh, they got a ton of cards that give you one one mana cards and and that's pretty good with auctioneer you play auctioneer and you throw a whole bunch of one 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 cards out there and you draw and you right and that's sort of the miracle rogue sort of thing to do what is this guy doing he's thinking real hard about that one drop Ooh, can i coin up this two drop oh, i don't know Sung Yu is really thinking hard about his, or he sort of uh, dropped his phone and um, had to pick it up from the toilet. Kind of looks, it's starting to look like a death rattle. <laughs> starting to look like a death rattle deck. I don't know what it was about that one card I saw, but it could just be, could just be one. God, I hate playing against people like this. At least he's not emoting the whole time. And even if he was, I would have squelched him second one. Next turn, we can huge tone, but I don't think that's pretty big of a play for me. <laughs> we'll see what happens, though. He's pointing out. This guy's a toast. Okay. That's fine. We'll act like we top decked it. Oh, we top decked the perfect card for this situation. We didn't though. We had it in our hand. And a choice between playing like the one that's in your hand and the one you top deck, I always play the one that I top deck just, just to get them slightly pissed off. That's a pretty good play. Oh, it's a Cthulhu one. Well, there you go. <laughs> Cthulhu Rogue is actually pretty good because of uh, Knife of Cthulhu. If you survive the first Cthulhu, then you can... You can, um... You can kill it with Knife of Cthulhu and uh, buff it huge. Or even just killing normal big minions is actually pretty good with this. What do you got? Sung Yu. He didn't even trade. He's, are you serious? Perfect answers every time. Kill off one of the two ones. There you go. Lovely. Revenge. We can... I have all the situational cards and I don't have anything that I can actually play. And... Let's just play this out with no beast on board. So we can trade the 3 3 into it. I don't have anything else to play. Even if I hound, then it only removes one thing. And. Hero powering and doing nothing is probably worse. Is my Got 6 mana. Well, that's pretty good. Do we remove the shield or do we kill the one thing, the other thing? Let's pop the shield and hope for something good. That's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> Popping the shield means he doesn't get a free train. And he would have had a pretty good trade with the Ram Wrangler. If he doesn't kill, he might kill it. Who knows? If he doesn't kill the captured Jormungar, this little dude, dude daddy here, then we can Hound Master it. Or he can Ram Wrangler off of it. We could hmm. Thor sands coming down, that's great. Don't have any real way to remove him besides the Yormungar. 
And he's just going straight for face. No trace. Alright. But we're gonna be trading. We can beastie this. We can do that. We're gonna take him out. Kill the force on and then do that. I have a feeling that Cthune is in his deck. No, not in his hand, sorry, in his hand. So that's why he's wanting to do that, so he can get it out slightly early. But who knows? That was a mistake. Now he's just buffing him up to no end. Are you my master? Is that eighteen eighteen? Before we do anything, I want to... Let's do this first. Bam. Bam, bam. Easy trades. Bam. 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 And a face. Rambling with the added effects. What did we get? Fantastic. That's great. That's real great. Why am I so unlucky? <laughs> I wonder to myself, why am I so goddamn unlucky? Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Yumringar is going down pretty easy. Because all he has to do is... A symphony of terror begins. Are you not going to kill it? Hello? Are you serious? Did he not have... Did he not see what it was? Goodbye. Goodbye, Sung Yu. I don't know what he was thinking. I mean, he saw it. Did he just not have any... I guess even if he attacked, he still would have died. Oh well. It's a good game. Couple of good games. Still rank 16. <laughs> uh... But that's the uh, the death rattle mid rangey type deck. Um, next time I come back, I will try. Well, if you comment and I see it, uh, I'll be playing that one. But I think the next one I'm going to be doing is the Yogg-Saron deck, which is really hit and miss. <laughs> Any of you who actually played and messed around with Yogg-Saron, you'll see that it's it's a real mess. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you guys later and. Uh, 